That's a cop. Yep. But Gwinnett County, doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're gonna make another U-turn and check everything out again. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today we are going to take a ride in Project Storm and do some data logging. Just kind of show you what goes down when we do this stuff. Kind of give you an idea and overall just go take the truck out have some fun. So real quick we're going to go over the truck if you're new and you're just catching on to the channel. So here we go. All right, so Project Storm is a 2012 Ram 1500 4x4 57 Hemi and it has a single Torque Storm supercharger on it and the truck is basically bone stock. It's got ex stock exhaust manifolds, pretty much stock exhaust except for Flowmasters. It's got Cadillac converters, completely street legal, passes emissions, the whole nine. It is a everyday driver truck and very straightforward now we are running the single torque storm supercharger on meth injection only this has no intercooler we are relying on meth injection period for the cooling and we are running the boost juice from snow which is uh, basically a 50 50 mix of water and methanol so it's water meth other than that very very simple install we have a three inch to a three inch 90 degree boot. We have Torque Storm's blow off adapter, which comes with the meth injection nozzle port already installed. And then we have another 90 degree elbow that's three inch to three and a half to fit the throttle body. And that is all there is to it besides bolting the supercharger on, running the belt, and that's it. So before we take off, we're gonna give you a little startup so you can hear the supercharger, hear the truck, and then we're gonna go out, we're gonna drive it and get some data logs. truck is calming down now and again this is a stock truck has stock camshaft stock heads stock everything except for Flowmaster exhaust and a single torque storm supercharger it's a four-door crew cab 4x4 four four on stock street tires like I said this is a everyday driver truck it gets driven every single day back and forth to work and we're doing it with water meth injection no intercooler and it works fine. All right, so that's a little walk around on Project Storm. We're gonna get in the truck. We're gonna do some data logs, go drive the truck, just have some fun. Uh, so we have my laptop and this truck is tuned on HP Tuner software by Flying Ryan, which is FRP. And he is doing the tuning on Project Storm along with my truck over there under the cover, which is Frostbite Ram. That truck is, as most knows, a little bit more involved. It's got a lot going on with it. Um, but we're gonna talk basically about Project Storm today. So let's go take a drive. All right, so quick rundown. This is the MPVI2 interface module from HP Tuners. This plugs into the diagnostic port on the vehicle. So we're gonna plug this in. 
And then the other end of that cable is going to plug into my laptop, which is right here in my lap. All right, now we got the interface plugged into the OBD port and plugged into the laptop. We have HP tuners on my laptop here turned on to the scanner. And this is the logging software. So what we're going to do is go ahead and he's going to turn the key on. And then we're going to hit connect to vehicle. And now that we are connected to the vehicle, we're going to hit the little red dot up here for record. And we're going to go ahead and start scanning. And now it is recording all the data. And we're going to go for a log, go for a drive, and go test out Project Storm on this tune. After we get done, we'll come back and we're going to look at the data log. We're going to look at the IETs because I know a lot of people is going to be interested on what the intake air temperature is, running no intercooler and just using water meth. About a mile, two miles out from the house and the outside air temperature has come down to about 81 degrees. So we're 81 degrees outside right now. Sunny day. Coolant temperature is now around 180, uh, showing about 183 currently. Air intake temps are hovering around 97 degrees right now. So we're going to stop here and we're going to do a dead hit. So we're about to make a U-turn right here on the highway. And what we're going to do here, once we make the turn, we're going to do the turn real slow. And then we're going to roll into the throttle and get onto it real hard and kind of go through the gears to see what our AFR is um, during wide open throttle. And then we'll do some more dead stop hits. That's a cop, yep. but Gwinnett County, doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're gonna make another U-turn and check everything out again. on the top end is really nice. super close to being dialed in on the truck just got to do a few more minor tweaks and we're gonna be ready to go hopefully get to a track one day soon and see what she puts down on the track with a very simple setup all right now that we're at home we're kind of going over this log I picked out one of the longer pulls that we did and currently you can see up here we are at about 113 degrees intake air temperature on Project Storm, which has no intercooler, just water meth injection. And we are right now we're currently sitting at a stop sign waiting for traffic to clear. We're about to make a right turn and get onto it pretty hard for a pretty long pull. Um, so we're going to start playing it here. 
And again, you can see air intake temperature going to 115. Uh, we're still sitting here waiting for traffic to clear. And should be moving here in just a second. We're at 117 intake air temperature. Yeah, temperature outside again was about 81, 82 degrees. And we should be moving. So here we go. We're starting to make the turn. And as we make the turn, we end up punching it right about here. Should be coming up. Should be hitting it. Let's see. About right here. So we, you can see now that we're starting to move and get into the throttle, uh, we're starting to make boost. Air intake temperature has went up slightly. We're at 122. Uh, the meth injection will be coming on here in just a second. Uh, we have it set to come on at about three and a half pounds of boost, roughly. So, 124 intake temps, and you're going to see the temperature drop big time. Just It's going to take a dive right about here. The meth's going to kick on. So, there you go. It just dropped. I'm going to back it up a little bit. So we were at 124 was the highest our air intake temperature got to, around 3,600 RPM. Water meth injection comes on, and right at 3,600 RPM, it drops to 106, which is fine and dandy. And we're going to continue on with the pool. It hangs there at 106 for a little while, and then it takes another drop, a big drop, right about here so right there 4400 rpm we go from 106 to 86 degrees which is awesome so we continue the pull and all the way to the next shift point we are at 82 degrees we're at pretty much full boost here we're probably i want to say we're probably making around nine pounds of boost and we hit a shift Air intake temperature is still super low, so we just did a shift. Now we're going to keep pulling in the next gear, and we actually drop a little more. We're at 79 degrees, and we are pulling and pulling, pulling, pulling. We're 77 degrees, still pulling, 79 degrees, still pulling, still pulling. We're coming over 5,000 RPM. And now we're almost uh, 5,400 RPM. We're at 81 degrees of air intake temperature. We're still nice and cool for a non-intercool setup. And running, running, and running. And right about here, I think we start to let out here soon. And we're still hovering. Still, still maintaining low, low 80 degree IAT temps. And right there is where we let off. And you're going to see now that the meth injection kicks off, the air intake temperature is going to go up a little bit, but we are not in boost. We are now just kind of cruising around. We let off the throttle. So now we're at 100 degrees. Now that the meth is off, 115, 118. And now we are roughly cruising, you know, 2,400 RPM, 87 miles an hour on the highway. And it'll just pretty much maintain that right there. We'll hover around the 115 to 120-ish degrees uh, when we're not under meth injection or making boost I'm gonna kind of fast forward the log here as we're just kind of cruising on the highway and even going a little further we're at 113 111 and that's pretty much normal where it stays um, when we're just cruising without an intercooler on this truck you know the truck stays around the low 100 to 120 degrees roughly is about the highest it ever gets um, and then when it's under full boost and the meth injection is coming on, I mean, we see low, low 80 degree IAT temps, which is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, it just works really good. So there is, you know, your proof right there that the meth injection is working, doing its job. And it is definitely, I believe, worth a lot, um, especially if you're trying to do a budget build and not do an intercooler and all that stuff. Uh, water meth injection definitely works and there you go you just seen it um, that's what it looks like on the log um, with the water meth and I know the other thing you guys are probably going to want to see we're going to go to boost 
even though we are running the 3.5 pulley on the torque storm on this setup um, which is I believe their largest pulley and with no intercooler this truck makes a lot of boost it really does um, so here's manifold absolute pressure we're gonna go out we're gonna run it here till it peaks and see what our highest number with is it's usually around like the 24 ish 24 and a half somewhere range is what we max out right now with the shift points we have so we're you know 23 24 24.3 24.7 so that was 24.7 24.8 so there you go 24.8 is what we maxed out at um, you can see right there at the top 24.8 psi now you have to subtract uh, the atmosphere pressure which is roughly going to be around the 14.7 mark um, usually sometimes the log will even tell you down here uh, there you go 14.9 is what it was saying the barometric pressure was so if we subtract that from our where'd it go there it is from our manifold absolute pressure number that will be our boost number that we actually made that will be the true boost that we have seen so after subtracting that barometric pressure uh, during this pull we actually made 9.9 .9 pounds of boost um, so pretty much we made almost 10 pounds of boost on Project Storm on the 3.5 pulley. So that is jam up. Uh, definitely a little more boost than, um, <laughs> than we're actually wanting to run on this truck. But it's working and it seems to be happy. And again, um, you know, you're going to see more boost when you don't run an intercooler just because it don't have to fill up all the extra pipes doesn't have to fill up the volume of that intercooler so when you just have a short pipe running from the supercharger directly to the manifold there's not a lot of volume that the supercharger has to try to fill to pressurize um, so it's going to make boost a lot faster and it'll make more boost um, typically with an intercooler setup you will usually drop about a pound and a half to two pounds of boost with an intercooler setup um, so that's about the norm and you can definitely kind of see it right here um, as on frostbite we, we run the 3.1 pulley which is i think torque storm's fastest pulley right now and with our intercooler setup granted we have a camshaft and other things going on with it but we are usually peaking out on frostbite i want to say around 11 and a half psi range give or take so you know project storm is right behind us with boost numbers you know because we're not running an intercooler it's making a lot of boost so if we was to put that 3.1 pulley on this truck whoo we would probably see you know I, i'm guessing i think we would probably see easily 12 to 13 pounds of boost probably pretty easy uh, maybe more you know it's it, you, you never really know till you try it but that's my guess i think we would see a solid 12 13 pounds pretty easy um, on this setup so there you go Hope that helps you guys out that's kind of uh the log information there um you know kind of how hp tuners works and what we were looking at today and uh just trying to get some logs and go have some fun <laughs>